over here at Rick's Smokehouse in Terre Haute. They've got some really good barbecue. We're here to check it out. It's independently owned and we'll check out and see how long it's been around and let you know when we get our food and have a little chat about uh, Rick's Smokehouse. It seems really popular. Everybody really likes it. So let's go now and eat. This restaurant used to be the Wessel Hotel, or Wessel Inn, I guess. And this was a big banquet room that they've decorated all up. It's got a stage. Things from the Paul Schulte High School here. Pictures from this room in days of yore. Gerstmeyer, which also used to be a school in Terre Haute. And memorabilia from Gerstmeyer. Vigo County had a kitchen band. These are some items from that band. This is Gerstmeyer's first band. 1925 is what it says. And also memorabilia from Garfield School, Wiley School, some local schools with all kinds of really neat memorabilia. All here in the banquet room at Rick's Smokehouse. received our food. Uh, we're just waiting on onion rings. They took a little bit longer. Um, Matt, why don't you explain to us what all these things are? I could show them. Let's start here. This is ribs, <clears throat> rib tips, sauce, green beans. Let me show a little closer up. That's the ribs. Rib tips, is that what you said? Mm-hmm. 
Texas toast. Okay, here. Pulled pork. Beef brisket. French fries. This is hash brown casserole. Sauce. You know it's good when they have these rolls of paper towels. Okay, what's first? Rib tip. And tell me about rib, rib tips. Why are they good? What, what does it taste like? Fatty, so I pretty much like it as much. I don't like the fatty ones as much. I like too more bad. lean. What do you think the best part of like pork is? Like, man, what, do you, what is your very favorite? Rib tips. Rib tips? I think I, I like pulled pork, but I'm kind of just a plain Jane type. So, mm. well, let's try the hash brown casserole. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Thank you very much. The onion rings have arrived. Onion rings. Okay. Oh, there's so much grease, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. This is a hash brown casserole. I want to taste it and then you can taste it. Not something I like. I like. It's cheesy. I don't really like cheesy things. But I thought we'd try it. It's just says it's the number one seller here. Number one seller means you need to try it. What do you think about the hash brown casserole? I like it. What is it? Cheese, mm -hmm. hash browns. Is that all? Just cheesy hash browns? Mm -hmm. With like a, it's got a crust on top. Some sort of crust on top. I'll let you finish out if you're interested in it, but you might not be. Now, we're gonna have leftovers, I'm sure. Green beans. They look good. Green beans. I like them. Pretty good. This over here, Matt, what is this? Pulled pork. That's pulled pork. Okay, that's the pulled pork. So, let's try the pulled pork out. I'm going to take one of the sauces. They have all different kinds of sauces. Sweet, hot, spicy, mild. So juicy. Really juicy. I think that's why the bottom of the hash brown casserole was so um, greasy when I picked it up because this is kind of running all over the place. It's good. I mean, really good. I must have gotten hot because it's hot. But I like sauce. What about brisket, Matt? You want to try that and tell me how you feel about it? How should brisket taste like? What if you were to say? Yeah. I don't usually get brisket. You don't? But everybody always talks about oh, brisket it's really is so good. good. So, it is good? I don't think I've ever had brisket in my life. Should I dip it? <coughs> Dunk it? Brisket? What are you eating now? Ribs? Mm -hmm. Now tell me about the ribs. All about them. They're pork, they're smoked, and they're delicious. 
Why are these any better than anywhere else? Or not? What would you say is a bonus and the downfall of these ribs? The first, the first bite was a little dry. Mm -hmm. But it's still very good. And that was the end, so it's probably better. Uh, you have to try again and see if the rest are dry or not. I'm digging this brisket. And I don't, I don't, I do not believe I've ever had brisket in my life. I am in love. It's so good. Okay, tell us, is it dry or is it good? It's better. Still a little dry? Not as much as one on the end. So it's dry. A little bit. Dry ribs. What? The pulled pork is great. The brisket is great. The ribs, it sounds like, are a little dry. Let me see what I can think about. Not remarkable. Not remarkable. Today. One last thing. Did we already talk about this? Rib tips. Rib tips? What do you think about them on a scale to one to ten? Honestly, how are the rib tips? Those are your favorite? They're his favorite, so let's see what he thinks. Seven and a half. Very smoky. Not your favorite. Did you try the pulled pork? Mm -mm. Would you try the pulled pork and tell me how you feel about it? I think it's top notch. Really, really good. In my opinion. No, I thought you were getting ready. What do you think? It's good. I like the rib tips better. You do? Well, it's good because I like this better. All right. What about the onion rings? Can you give me a review of the onion rings? They're not bad. They're not great. Really? Is that they're not too crazy. I don't think they're going to make me sick. French fries? See how we feel? French fries or French fries? They have a little bit of salt. The ketchup makes them better. They're nothing remarkable. Uh, I would say the best sides here for me is going to be um, the green beans. The green beans and the bread are really good. The fries are pretty good. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this casserole. Are you? Or they say it's their number like one it. item. You like it? Um, we try an onion ring. See what my opinion is on the onion ring. That's super hot. I like the onion ring, I think, more than you do. I think the onion ring is really good. the best one. Oh, it's really <clears throat> thick. And that, um, the onion is a big piece and it stayed all together there. Oh, I got I like it when it's not all ready. How do you like it? Mm. All right. It's better. The onion rings are pretty good. You might have gotten a faulty one at first. The onion rings are pretty stellar. The fries are good. The casserole he likes. I'm not a fan, but I don't really like cheesy things so much. Green beans are good. They're not super flavorful. They're green beans, but uh, they're good. I'd say everything here is really good, except um, we got a little bit of uh, dryness over with. They're still good, though. They're, they're still, still good. good. They're still good. So you should still come. But uh, the um, brisket and the pulled pork, I think, is, is much better than uh, the ribs. They're pretty dry. They've been around maybe for a little while. Um, and uh, the rib tips. Rib tips are OK. So anyway, if you come to Rick's, it's a great price. It's not crazy expensive. The atmosphere is super. Um, uh, all of this food, all of it was 40 bucks. And that included <laughs> drinks. So $40, pretty economical. Give it a try over here in Terre Haute, right off of Wabash. Uh, you can come and check out Rick's Smokehouse. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope this gives you more information about Rick's Smokehouse and a little bit about Terre Haute. We are Hungry Hoshins. Hungry Hoshins. See you next time.
I would say the one thing I want to point out about Rick's, uh, by the way, it's family owned since 1996. The one thing that I would like to point out most about Rick's is that smoke. Would you agree, Matt? Yes. That smoke absolutely kicks it up a notch. It's really, really uh, great food here at Rick's. Check it out over here in Terre Haute and have a great one. Bye-bye.